Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you an introduction to a fractal art software called Chaotica. As a disclaimer, I'm not the best person to create fractal art, but this video is more like a way for me to learn about this software because all, like all the wise people said, uh, the best teacher is experience. So by sharing what I know with you, I hope I can understand more about this software because before I made the video, I need to know exactly what I want to share with you, what I am doing. So I need to learn about it first. And when we learn, we hope that we can be a better person from what we have learned. Okay, the first thing you need to do is to download the software. There are free version and a paid version. The only differences between the two is the maximum image size that you can render. Uh, other than that, everything is the same. You can go to the chaoticafractals.com website. I will provide the link on the description and you can go directly to the download section. You can download the Windows version if you are using Windows. You can download the Linux version or even Mac version. And while you are waiting for the download to finish, you can go and check out the gallery of some of the fractals created using Chaotica or rendered with Chaotica. As you can see here, uh, click with, uh, I click this guy named Maulana and actually it's me. And this is some of the fractals that I have created using Chaotica rendered with Chaotica. And if your download already finished, uh, that's, that's it actually, uh, basically. So that's how you download the stable version of Chaotica. But if you like me who love to use the latest version of a software, there is a Chaotica version 2 uh, in the development. And to download that, go to this website. I will provide a link on the description as well. And in, and in this video, I'm going to use this version of Chaotica. Uh, but if you are using older version, I, I believe, uh, don't worry, uh, I believe uh, it, this tutorial still can be used as well because everything is the same or you can find similar function on the older version of Chaotica. After you install or download the portable version of Chaotica, open it up. Uh, you need to first install it if you download the installer. But if you download the portable version, you can uh, directly click on the .xca file, open it up, and you will be greeted with this uh, Windows layout with nine random fractals to help you start with Chaotica. If you find one that you like to play around, you can click on that and it will appear on the main window here. But if you didn't find the one you like, you can always click on the random world button here. 9 is the number of the randomly generated fractals and the min and max iterators is, uh, as the name suggests, it is the minimum and maximum number of iterators. What is iterators? It is basically the mathematical equation that built your fractal. So let's say we click on this image. You can see on the name uh, in the sub window that the fractal you choose consists of uh, this one, two, three, four uh, iter uh, iterator or variation or transform. If you take a look at the minimum and maximum iterator, the min is three and the max is four. And so our generated fractal right here has minimum three iterator and maximum five iterators. Let's say you already have the one you like. You can click on the image and it will appear in the main window. Uh, if you want to zoom in and zoom out the image, you can scroll the mouse uh, on your mouse. And now you have your structure, but if you are not happy with the color, uh, you can change the color automatically by par by partially change the palette and the shadows. So try click on the palette button uh, right here to see what it does. By clicking the palette, you basically changing the overall color scheme. 
but if you click the shutters, it will only change between colors uh, within the palette you are currently using. So try to play around with all these uh, buttons to see what it does to your fractals. Okay, let's say you are already happy with the structure on the color of the fractal. So uh, the next thing you need to do is to render it. On the render sub-window, you can choose the image size, anti-aliasing anti or whatever it's called, and so on. Personally, I will leave everything as it is except for the image size. As you can see here, uh, the image will keep rendering infinitely. So how to stop it? You can stop it anytime you want and save the image by clicking the file and save image. And don't forget to save uh, your design by clicking the file. Uh, back in, don't forget to save your design by clicking the file and save the world. Some tips from me uh, about rendering is normally I will leave the renderer overnight and save the image when I don't see any grain anymore on the image. But if you're looking for a grainy style fractal, you can save the image straight away. And then there you have it. You have your own uh, chaotic fractals. That's it for this video. In the next video, uh, I'm going to show you how to create fractal from scratch. So please subscribe if you want to see more video about fractal art creation using Chaotica or any other fractal software out there. And like the video, share and comment or ask me, ask me about anything uh, fractals. And until later, bye.